Uh, just over the water, there's one in Birkenhead, uh, close to the docks on the other side of the water. Uh, but my family are all from Liverpool. Uh, my dad was a commercial artist and he was approached because um, he did work for this particular agent at the time. Uh, and they gave him a copy of the plans before it was uh, for the pump house, which is attached to the side. The docks um, and turned it into a pub, and he needed um, an artist impression of uh, what it was going to look like, and he he did the drawings for that. So yeah, I was I suppose yeah was involved. Um, I like the history, really, of the place. How it came about to being built, uh, and what they did with it, what it was used for, um, and what it's being used for now. But what I really liked. Uh, a couple of years ago I went round on a duck tour on the water and it takes you in and out all over. Uh, it was nice seeing the docks from the inside and the perspective it gave you from uh, opposed to walking around while you're in the place. So yeah, pretty much that really. They seem to be shrinking the docks, get smaller yeah. because of all the new modern buildings going up around it. Um, yeah, maybe not so fussy on that, but it's progress and um, they're spending money and investing in the area, so it's all, I suppose it's all, all good in the long term. I suppose there are parts of the community and the council who maybe would have preferred money to go more into housing uh, for, for local people. I guess that's a fair point, but I think for what it's brought to the city and the amount of visitors, uh, then it, it has been a, it has been a good thing, and I don't remember too much negativity about it at the time. I remember reading somewhere um, recently that it's one of the most visited places outside of London, anyway, uh, as far as tourism goes. So I think they they're doing a good job, anyway.